Hey everybody, welcome to a playthrough of The Last of Us 2's remastered mode called No Return, which is a roguelike mode, and it is an absolute blast. I, as anybody, and most of you, love the story, love the narrative in The Last of Us, but the combat is so fun, and I always just wish I could just do more of that. And this is a roguelike mode where you're doing randomized encounters that ultimately culminate in a big boss fight and you're carrying progression through those encounters upgrading weapons that you find upgrading your character and some of that stuff persists if you die some of it doesn't and uh, the first thing we need to decide is who are we going to start with ellie or abby i'm going to start with ellie because come on um so what's the difference? Well, starting inventory is different. She has a Molotov and a pistol. Her traits are different. So she has 50% more supplements. She has a Molotov recipe. She has two upgrade branches. Whereas Abby, she starts with a hammer instead of the Molotov. She does get to heal on melee kills, which is really nice. She gets a melee upgrade recipe and a brawler upgrade branch. So they have different play styles. Um, you can unlock skins for these guys by completing different challenges. And uh, by you can get... Uh, gun skins as well. There's a lot of things to unlock, a lot of characters to unlock, and I'm excited to do that. So let's begin with Ellie. Thanks to Sony for hooking me up with an early review code. We're going to play this on hard for now until I start to build up some overconfidence, and then I will switch it up to a harder mode and really get whooped. I think that'll be fun. That'll be a blast, actually. I've reset my save file for this, so we're starting from like absolute scratch here. And uh, I'll try to explain some things as we go, but you guys are gonna you're gonna pick up on it pretty quick. This is our hideout, okay. and uh, after this first fight, we're gonna unlock this, which allows us to buy things. This is a little trading post. This is where we upgrade our weapon, but we don't have any parts right now. So brings us to our Slay the Spire esque map, where we need to choose how we're gonna go about our run. Uh, we're gonna start in Jackson. It's an assault mission, and let's just dive in there because we'll start picking and choosing things after that. So to get a better score in the in the uh, combat session, you get more points if you complete it in under three minutes. And for every couple seconds that you go over that, you start losing points. Uh, this is an assault encounter type, and their initial knowledge of your position varies. So right now they're going to be in searching because it's the first mission. Uh, but you'll eventually get to some that are like, it's an assault mission and they're just hunting you right away. They know where you are. They're coming for you kind of thing. Between waves, you're going to go for your supply cache, try to get equipment. All of the stuff carries over between encounters. So like right now we have 20 seconds. Ooh, nice little med kit right off the bat there. And all of this stuff is randomized every time. What you find, where you find it. So when you dive in here, spend those 20 seconds getting whatever it is that you can and prepare your butts. You get more points for stealth kills, but um, in my experience, the, the main way that you lose points is taking damage, being inaccurate with your shots, and, uh, and taking too much time. Okay, so we see one there. I don't see any others, though. Okay, we see them all. We see them all. Let's see. How are we going to handle this? If I could take them down, like, if I could take a couple down quietly, that would be helpful, but... Looks like I might have to fight these two. The other one went left. Hop in here, buddy. Or don't. You know what? Don't. And sleep. Now, if that one turns, she's gonna see us. I thought I saw her. Check it out. I got her! There, there! Goddamn. Headshot, boom. Oh, God! I'll take it. I'll take that. Okay, so we did take a small hit of damage there. Here's our supply cache. Gonna keep us loaded up with goodies. I'll grab the pipe. Grab whatever she dropped. No, we'll keep the pipe. Grab the ammo. Okay, they're back here. Okay. 
Where? Oh my god. That was close. Jeez. Okay, that's a little problematic. There are three. You can see in the top right the number of wave that we're on. And you can see uh, how many enemies have spawned. Now, this is loud, but... God. There she is! That's going to cause them to come running. That was a headshot, though. Beautiful. I'm gonna find you. Are you? Ooh, full bat. Oh, shit. Ooh wee. Sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like that. Okay, so if I could craft something just to be able to pick that up, I would. Oh, man. Okay. Whoa! That was fast. You got here mega quick. Okay, we're gonna go for an aggressive move here. I think that was her. I spotted her. Get I'm here for me. Damn it. Uh, Evie. Uh, I got the bat still. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, Two can play at that game. Let's go. Oh my God, we'll take that from you. Thank you. Okay, that was. Uh, we got a little bit of everything in that. That was awesome. God. So now we're returning to the hideout, but uh, take this time to grab everything that you can again. Because this all carries over, man. It's unfortunate that we're full on all of this stuff. <laughs> um, so the way I like to think about this is early on in these runs, try not to use as all of your consumables because you're gonna want those later on. But again, you also need to survive because if you die, you gotta restart. So now we get a breakdown of our score. So that took us five minutes, four seconds. So we lost 24 points there. Decreases by one point for every five seconds. You're beyond three minutes. Damage taken. Yeah, I lost 10 points there because I took 20. So you lose one for every two points of damage taken. And your accuracy is just based on your accuracy. So if you're at 76%, you get 76. Uh, no ally means we didn't have an ally on the mission, and because there are missions that have an ally, so we get a bonus 20 there. One stealth kill, six melee kills, same as stealth kills. Five per, five per. Headshots, five per. Regular kills, like to the body, um, I, I want to say it's like three points. And then you get a rank, uh, A is not the best, S is the best. And this is based on your total score, not including your multiplier. So A is, is pretty good. Um, had I done that a little faster and been a little bit more accurate, we would have hit that pretty easy. So our goal is, is to get those S's as best as possible. So we've completed one encounter with Ellie, one more for Dina to unlock, and that's just talking about the challenges. Okay, let's go back to base. Let's see what we're going to get at the trading post. In my first, like, test run that I did, it gave me this golden silenced SMG that you couldn't even upgrade. It was like max upgrades and just silenced right off the bat. I was, it was basically unfair. It was insane. But that's a roguelike for you. And anything could happen. Didn't get it this time. However, there is a shotgun, which is pretty nice. You could also re-roll this for three. You could see we have a total of 14 in the top right. I'll, I'll go ahead and buy the shoddy. Yeah. Give us some, some options here. And then we'll take a look at, at what upgrades may want to do. I'm actually thinking we go pistol and we upgrade capacity. Let's do plus four here. It's probably all we can afford, hey? Yeah, I got five left. And then lastly, let's take a look in here. And we've got uh, perseverance tree and the stealth tree. This would give us silencers. 
So the, I mean, that's good. This is good to improve Molotovs and then improve med kits and then endure, which is really nice. Otherwise, lethal damage will instead leave you at low health, giving you an opportunity to escape. I think going to that, just based on this being a roguelike mode where it's like you die, you start over kind of thing, it's pretty good. You also do not get healed here. You have to use your med kits. Um, everything just carries forward for this entire run. So now we have a choice to make. We can go into the shipping yard. It's an assault mission. Um, that, so it would be another assault mission. Or we could go here. And just for the sake of variety, Dina is there. So we'll have a helper. And we're going to be hunted so we can see what that mode's like. It's going to unlock the course quarters close quarters branch for us. It also says melee attacks set enemies on fire. So that's a mission mod. We're against Seraphites. Let's do it. This mode's, this mode's a little bit more intense. It only lasts for a certain period of time. Enemies keep spawning. You get more points for more kills that you get. So like, yes, you're being hunted. And you need to survive until it runs out. But you also get a lot of benefit from killing them to increase your score. Allies are going to join you for some encounters. Look for this on the planning board. Yep, got it. Doesn't necessarily change my my early approach. Grab that. No? Yikes. Ooh. That's really nice. Okay. So now they're just coming. You can keep an eye on the top right see how many we're working with here. Oh boy. Hey, dead ahead. Nice headshot. <laughs> Setting them on fire is always cool. That'll work. Where are they? Only three out there. Full med kit. Oh, shit. Over there. <laughs> Where? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I need to heal here? That's a problem. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm gonna try to clear this. I didn't even notice what the timer was at. I was literally just trying not to die in the first third of our video. Wowzers. Okay. 380. That's going to be a B. So what could we have done better? Taking less damage, we would have been there for sure. That, that was our main issue right there. Accuracy was good. Enemies killed, pretty good. Um, we would have got an extra bonus had uh, we not had an ally as well. So that 20 points would have made a difference between our, our rating, but... Uh, we persevere, okay? We persevere. Dina's now unlocked. And if we unlock all perseverance skills as Ellie, we get the plaid skin. Uh, there's some mod challenges now. So completing three encounters with mods unlocks mods tier one, which is essentially more mods available in the pool that could get selected for missions. And Jackson challenge, complete all challenges for Ellie aligned characters and you get the moth weapon skin. All right, cool. We got a new track here for completing encounters with Dina, but uh, that won't be until after we succeed or die. We'll see. In my testing, I, I intentionally didn't want to go super far, and I never completed the, the final mission. So uh, I'm curious to see if we can get there. That'd be beautiful. Okay, close quarters is upgraded. So if we look at that, or I should say it's, it's available. So this let us craft melee upgrades. 
restoring it to full durability, greatly increasing damage. You know, I kind of like that. Gets us out of jams. Craft more durable, upgraded weapons. I'm going to go back here for the better med kits now, and then we're going to save the rest. All right. Oh my god. Uh, okay, that is hilarious that we got this back. That is hilarious. Silent submachine gun. I mean, uh, I'm going to be crazy not to take it. Okay, that's a little bit of a blessing. So, um, yep, we'll take it. Stun bomb recipe I'll take as well. I feel like recipes are nice to have, just more things you can craft. And that gun uh, can't be upgraded. It's already, we get it, like, basically maxed. So let's look at the shotgun. I think I'm going to go capacity here as well. Same reason, just fewer reloads, more better. And let's get back out there. All right, so we're at the houses. It's an assault mission now. They're in search mode. Uh, decreased enemy health. Great, great mod for us. Great mod. Can't argue with that at all. All right. Those are full, unfortunately. Come on. Craft a little stunny here. Craft a med kit. Where are they? Okay, so now notice we got five. And I don't know where the heck they are. There's one. Going into the house. I'm gonna follow. This could be my my demise. Don't jump out. No. Sleep. You can see like all of this takes so much time. It's okay, though. I could be surrounded, I have no clue. Yup, yup, yup. Dog, dodge, duck, dip, dive. Goodbye, buddy. That was sick. Okay. We only took a little bit of damage. I need to get to my thing here. Come on. Oh, that's some decent upgrades. Okay, we have a few there. Now, will they pop through here, I wonder? Would they ever go prone? That's a good question. I mean, I can't just climb under there, so... He might. Or not. And sleep. I see that guy over there. We got tall grass. This might be okay. Oh. 
Okay. It's on. <laughs> One left. Oh! That was nasty. It's upstairs, frick. Oh, nice. I picked the right room. Okay, now it's go time. We got the silenced SMG. Like, it's insane. I can't believe we got this again. What? Take that. Yep. Fuck. I saw a shotgun shell. We'll take that. Oh. Okay, baby. We got a nice little variety pack for you so far. So uh hope I'm demonstrating what this what this mode is like, because it is so fun. Oh, four short of an A. Are you for real? Are you for real? Yeah, guess so. Stun is five, stealth kills, headshots. Yeah, so I think maybe regular kills don't even do anything or something in this mode. I can't remember. It's all good though. We got we're consistently slightly above average. One more run with a mod to complete that. That shotgun blast came in pretty clutch there. In that uh SMG, I went full time. panic mode. You can see, like, how insane that was. Because it's also silence kills, right? And headshots. The bow. I don't think I'm going to take another weapon. Uh, this is part of my upgrade tree if I want it. So maybe I'll save that for now. Right? Because that was in here. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, here. Stealth, yeah. Uh, let's take Endure. That seems great for this mode. Uh, let's view that. Upgrade all perseverance skills. Okay, six. So now I got the plaid thing. Four enemies with molotovs in one encounter and collect every gun in one run for starlight. Oh, man. Does that count as, like, uh, does that bow count as a gun? Because if that's the case, that's kind of tempting. I'm gonna do this, and then we can get we can become even tankier. I will heal. It's overdoing it a bit. I also like I don't know if that special SMG counts. It, it probably does. So if we were gonna try to go for it. Oh, actually, this thing only needs one hit right now, so maybe I won't upgrade that. Be better to do something with more slots. I'll buy this just to have it. Okay, maybe we can complete that challenge. But I'm not going to use it or upgrade it unless I absolutely have to right now. Recoil, fire rate, fire rate, stability. Let's go fire rate here. This is our get out of a jam gun. All right, what's next? So we have a choice. We can go to the logging camp with Dina. Hunted, WLF. Melee kills restore health. Go to the evasive tree. Or here, go to the covert ops tree. It's an assault starting in combat. Let's do that. 
get that covert ops tree unlocked too. I'm, I say that so confidently, like we're just guaranteed to pass this fight, but anything could happen. Thank you. That's what a what a welcoming sight. That's great. Oh, okay, this area. This is the cool thing too about this mode is like you're revisiting all these spots in the game where you're like, oh yeah, I remember this. Oh god, running right into them. There's six. Oh boy. Oh, what a rip-off. Yikes. Sick. Oh my god, they just have such great aim. Oh man. Okay, there's a few up here. <laughs> Big sledgy. Shoot me, I dare ya. So if I pop up, I know she's going to shoot me. There you are. Wow. Take anything here. Okay. Where's my Oh, it's way outside. Okay. We didn't get any pistol ammo, so it looks like it's shotgun time. Somebody's like right on me here. It's the wolf! That might have worked. You know what? I'm gonna actually take this one and use it. <laughs> then I can pick this up again. Oh, what a like there's they're such snipers. Amazing. Good. Come on, here. Need to reload the weapon. Reload the weapon. Reload the weapon. Cash is far. Where's that? Somebody dropped. Right here. Wrong way. And sleep. Oh! <laughs> 
Wow. Okay, we took a lot of damage. Unfortunately, that sucks. But uh, that's a pretty complicated map to be doing quickly. Let's grab as much as we can here. Made pretty good use of those sledgies, though. I will say. That felt nice. That felt nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess a B. I'm gonna guess a B ranking there. damage that really did me in it's a B it's a solid B okay it's A's it's A's from now on four enemies with Molotovs and one encounter yikes okay that's gonna be uh... so I can carry three and getting kills with Molotovs is actually uh. kind of tough <laughs> I don't think it kills every enemy. Okay, Covert Ops is unlocked. Let's see what's in there. It's gonna be heavy on the sneaks, right? Faster movement while prone, not great. Grabbed enemy movement speed. Oh, faster stealth kills, though, would be insanely nice. That would be fantastic. I think I gotta take the health here, and maybe we'll get to that, maybe we won't. Um, ammo for the submachine gun. I'll buy a bit of this. I'm not using the points for much else. Let's uh, re-roll this and just see what pops. Ammo for the bow. Arrow recipe. I think recipes are pretty good to buy. Okay. Let's go shotgun here. Didn't have to bust out the shotgun much, except against that big dude, but whoa, it was out of her close. Okay. <laughs> and we even got some bow kills in there, which wasn't the intention. So I better heal. And then let's make up some of this, just so I don't run out of things to make. Uh, let's do this. Just gonna restore our weapon to full and increase its damage. And the rest, I think we're good. Okay, we have one more before the the arcade bloater fight, and it's the hospital assault mission starting in combat, vaulting boost movement speed, and increased enemy health. So probably can't do the Molotov thing here. If they have higher enemy health, it's just not gonna it's not conducive to a Molotov kill. If you ask me. Oh yeah, this area is cool. Okay. Grab that. Grab that. Thankfully, I have a ton of ammo here. Have eyes on her! In here! <laughs> Holy frick. I'm impaled. God. Dude. I don't like this. Where's the other one? Oh god. Oh, I went too aggressive there. Okay, let's heal. I'm gonna take this big one now. Ooh. 
reset our position. They're starting behind us. Wow. No pistol ammo anywhere. That didn't kill him? Because of that increased enemy health. Wow. Okay, that's not good. That is really terrible. Come on, Ellie, let's go. Taking a very long time. Oh god, one's on us though. Use this weapon! They have so much health! Insane. No. Oh God. Yo. I don't know where the other one is. Med kidding. Yeah, you probably will, based on how this is going. Oh. Cash is available. There's that vault. Risky. I'm gonna go up high ground again. Try and maybe draw them towards me. There's one already. They are quick. Oh, come on, man. Wow. This is really tight. Like, where, where are they going to come up to get me, right? shot.
Where's the other one? Down below. Wow. Okay. So here's the thing. Sometimes I feel like <laughs> scores just goes out the window because you're like, if I die, it's over. And that's ultimately more important. Trying to get anything I possibly can here. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can do this last one, guys. I don't know. Based on that performance? Yee. I mean, we're still getting bees. Zero on the damage. Zero on the damage. We did complete three modded things, so now three more. We get mods tier two. Mods can help us or hurt us on missions, so more mods, more better, I always say. This concentration is a final encounter and no return run. Go all out. You can unlock new boss encounters by completing challenges. Yeah. Okay. Okay, back to it. So, first of all, I'm not, I don't have enough to heal. That's a problem. We have maxed health, we have endure. Faster prone, which is not a big deal, but faster grabbed enemy move and faster stealth kills. Maybe, but is that something we're going to be doing in this boss encounter? Debatable. Let's just upgrade these silencers. Listen mode movement speed is increased. And let's do... Hmm. Explosive arrows could be interesting. Let's re-roll. And I'll buy this to see if we can unlock that challenge. Uh, oh, we probably need the... What is there? There's like a magnum. Yeah, there's like a magnum, I think, that we're missing. Let's buy some explosive arrows for that big boy. Trap mine could be sick, too. Just don't know if we're going to have the supplies to make these things. Uh, this thing is pretty good already. It's got two attacks. Oh, yes, I can make three of these. I feel like these trap mines, I could just kind of set down and run and hope for the best. But I'm worried about my, my healing. So, yeah. Now I also have the problem of cycling through more guns than I may want. I don't even have any ammo for this. Let me, since we are getting arrows, let's get the draw speed. And I feel like this is a thing too where you're going to have an idea of something you want to build and then just based on what you're running into, you got to change your build. Extra stability there. Okay. This is for all the marbles. Swap ammo. Oh, no, no. Not a, not the table. Not the table. Not the table. Okay. So we're going to get the... The ammo loaded up correctly there. Get this loaded. I mean, the only other thing we're going to use is maybe this. But we're going to start there, and then this is the stun, and this is the explosive. So, okay. Arcade bloater, baby. <laughs> Let's go. throwing stuff. Whoa, dude! 
dude. Okay. Did we do it? We're about to kill everything? Wow! Oh, that was intense. Damn. Damn. That was close to that like last stand thing. Saved us. Damage taken, yep. Oh, we got an S, baby. We got an S on the last one. That's what I'm talking about. Whew! That was, that was freaking awesome, dude. That was awesome. A, B, 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 S. Exactly the finisher that we wanted right there. We completed it in under three minutes. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't, because, like, it's either that or you're dead. Dude, it took a lot of damage. Accuracy was solid, though. And that long-range rifle actually ended up crushing for us. <sighs> Almost died to those little grunts a couple times, though. Didn't love that. Unlocks the Theater Infestation. Defeat the Theater Infestation. Rattler Captain and Faction. Okay. Core. Play one run. Unlock custom runs. Play two runs. Unlock gambits. I don't know what gambits are. New character unlocked. We got Dina. So she starts with the Trap Mine and the Stun Bomb. And the Double Craft Upgrade Branch. Okay. We got the Plaid Skin. Mods tier one, so low health damage bonus, photo mode filters. Oh, you play in the filters? That's interesting. Stuns restore melee durability and invisible enemies. What? New boss, theater infestation. Horde infective taken over the Seattle theater. You'll face this new boss encounter at the end of your next run. Custom runs. Allows you to customize the rules. You can make adjustments to game modes, enemies, mods, and more. This option is available when starting a new run. Yo, that is so sick. That's really cool. I really like that. Here's all the challenges. You can see the how the challenges progress. Theater infestation to the Rattler captains, to the garage bloater, the Seraphite elites, the Rat King, and randomized, just random bosses. Kill four enemies with Molotovs in an encounter for the rain jacket. Collect every gun in a run. Complete two encounters as Abby. Here's the new track. Play two runs. Play three runs. Five runs. Seven runs. Nine runs. So, feature gambits. They're challenges that appear once per encounter. Riskier gambits have great rewards, including currency, ammo, and health. 
Wow. Dead drops will randomly appear in encounters. Deposit requested items to receive an extra weapon or recipe on return to the hideout. That's cool. Holdout mode. You and an ally will be attacked by a swarm of... So this is a whole different mode now. In addition to assault and uh, um, survivor, what have you. Use the supplies in the area to set up defenses. You'll fail the encounter if your ally is killed. Capture mode. The enemies are guarding a safe filled with valuable supplies. will unlock when the timer expires. I like this. So I like that it gives you some time, a few runs, to get really used to the modes and the enemies and how it all works. And then you do a few runs. And you're like, okay, now we've got this gambit. Then we got dead drops. Then we got holdout. And then we got capture. And then all your runs become so varied. Play nine runs, you get the daily. You can make one attempt at a daily run per day, and your run will be abandoned if not completed within 24 hours. Everybody plays the same randomly generated run. You can view the leaderboards. Okay, okay. Mods here, you just get more mods. Stealth kills, burst movement, up to, like, long guns locked. <laughs> Reloading, discards, ammo left. Crafting gives bonus parts, and time slows on headshots. Complete all challenges in Jackson for the moth thing. Abby aligned characters for the for that skin. Hell yeah, man. Okay. So if we're gonna do a new run, we would do a, a standard and we'll we'll just start it off on the next one. If you guys like this, I would love to do more. So please, please let me know. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please uh, drop a like if you're new here and you had a good time, uh, subscribe. I do a lot of games like this. I do a lot of variety. Let's let's be honest. We cover a lot of stuff here. But that was a blast. I had a super time. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, take care, and uh, love you. Bye.